On our last adventure, we stopped by a Maasai village to learn more about the Maasai people and their culture. Now it's time for us to head to our next destination, the Intimate Camp Zebra, where we will be glamping inside the Serengeti National Park. The Serengeti National Park, Serengeti never shall die. Hifadi ta taifa. Over here in the Serengeti, we have a gazelle, giraffe, coming your way. <laughs> The long neck giraffe. On the zebra farm? Camp Zebra camp in the Serengeti. Yeah, and we're going to be camping in a tent. In a tent. Um, can you pass my boot back? We are staying here in the middle of the Serengeti. This is Hope. He's the awesome camera guy here. He took my job away from me, so it's okay. He has better gear than I do. Less work for me. I shouldn't have to bring this heavy backpack. You know when you carry camera gear? This thing weighs like 30 right. freaking pounds, man. It's so heavy. Right. Especially with a laptop and everything. <sighs> Welcome refreshments of some orange juice. The Intimate Camp Zebra is named after the zebra which followed the wildebeest during their world famous annual migration. Like the animal it is named after, the camp follows the wildebeest to the northern part of the Serengeti National Park between July and November and to the southern part of the Serengeti ecosystem from December until March. The camp is closed from April until the end of June each year. Intimate Camp Zebra has been operating in the Serengeti for the best part of two decades. As a result, the company has fostered very close working relationships with the park authorities and this in turn has resulted in the camp always being allocated the very best seasonal campsites available, both in Kogatende as well as in Ndutu. This is saying if you get eaten by a lion, they're not held responsible for this, so... <laughs> they went, read it. You want me to read it to everybody? Here, I can read it. You mean read it to everybody? You read it to everybody? Personal safety in camp, intimate camps. Intimate camps are always located in the national parks and game reserves of Tanzania. This means that they are wild animals to be found in the area immediately surrounding your camp both day and night. Most of the encounters now. you will have in this wildlife will be very exciting and deep for you. But occasionally there, there could be an exception to the rule. We will be grateful therefore if you could please strictly adhere to the following protocols during the course of your stay with us. When moving around camp during daylight hours, please always be vigilant about what is going on around you. Look both left and right. When walking from one tent to another, keeping a lookout for any animals which may be nearby. During nighttime hours, please do not move around the camp by yourself. You should use a torch and or whistle provided in your tent to attract the attention of one of our staff who will immediately go or come over and guide you to where you want to go. After dinner, please wait for one of our staff to escort you back to your tent and once you have turned in, please do not wander out of your tent again before the morning. Please understand that these protocols are not intended to alarm you, but rather to keep you safe at all times during the course of your stay. stay. Signed. Does everybody uh, agree? Yeah. Agree. Okay. After a quick lunch, it's time for us to head to our tent. And boy, am I excited. We're going to go this. We're going with them. We're going to do twin. Strong man. This is our tent here. And every time we leave and come back, we should shut the thing because the flies will come in here. But this is our tent that we're staying in. Najwa is using the restroom uh, and also let out a big fart. <laughs> so, we're already inside. This is where you, you exit and enter. They do have a nice table outside of our tent to sit down with two chairs to enjoy the beautiful mother nature that we see out here. This is where we have our luggages on a rack here. And on the other side also, 
this is our bed. It's a double bed or single bed for two people with lamps and water on the outside. We also have tented view on both sides if we want to keep it open to see if we could see any animals or anything that's going to be something that they don't know that we have that they don't have is Wi-Fi. Ah, yes. So, here's the catch. There is tents located it's ten further away. Ten tents in this place. Mm -hmm. We're our tents closest to the main cabin area where they only have Wi-Fi there. So if you want to use Wi-Fi, you have to be in that area. But because our tent is so close, we actually can pick up a signal and have Wi-Fi here. So we can Netflix and chill. Let's keep going here. What do we got here? We got the shoes so we can take shower with. This yep. is the yep. Good. This is the toilet. I already used it. Full blown toilet, mm -hmm. air freshener, and a window to look outside if you wanted to. No, it's for the smell to go away. Oh, for the smell to go away, okay. This is the shower. All right. And that's about it. And this is our uh, sink here. Beautiful. And we also have mosquito repellent and bug spray just in case something sneaks in. And again, flip flops to take showers with because well, you don't want to put your feet on this thing barefooted and maybe catch something because it's a lot of people have been camping here before us and I'm sure they don't sanitize it maybe, right? Um, this is where you could put clothes, I'm assuming, you know, just to get things ready or your gear. They have a hamper here for your dirty clothing and two towels. The lighting they had to turn on. They also have actually electricity outlets here with USB ports. And as you can see, I'm charging all my camera gear batteries using solar powered. And we're gonna be going to walk around and check out what this camp has to offer. So I forgot to mention something. In this tent system here, they don't have water coming to the uh, tents. They have this water system that they use in the back of the tent. Huh? I'm not, I, I wasn't talking. So let me show you how they do this here. Thank you. You put hot water? Is that water? I'm looking at the thing. But that one's for shower? Yeah. And that one's for sink? Yeah. And you put hot water in there? Awesome. So that's where you put hot water in from. And this is where, you, this, so one goes to our sink and one goes into our shower and he brings this down here and then he brings a bucket. The water, the hot water's over there, right? You, you make it, and then they put water. Oh, look at that. And then he brings it up there, and then, look at that strong man. And then through some type of gravity, the water comes down and into the shower. Okay. Asante. So that is our watering system here. And he must have filled it up with hot water using that bucket right there. Isn't that cool? Look at that, that's awesome. And these tents are all movable. So pretty much what they do is they take and pack up these tents every couple of weeks or two weeks when the migration has changed and then the migration, migration there. And this is the antelope from Africa. The Be careful. This is the uh, Thompson antelope. Hot tea in the hand. Hot tea in the hand. Yeah. A lot of bugs and it's starting to rain. But hopefully we'll see some giraffes here tonight. Maybe some other insects. Not insects, animals. It's time to go exploring. Yeah. Should I go like this or should I put pants on? No, go like this. If you get bugs for you, you're good. Or shorts. Who cares? Show some legs. Show some legs. Hyenas, Show some legs. hyenas will get hungry. I'm like, damn, look at those legs. Is that a feast? So what do you think is over here? Is it just more tents? Yeah. Alright. Where? Oh my goodness. We're gonna be walking. 
So we're not able to traverse beyond the campsite, obviously, for safety reasons, because the last thing I need to do is get eaten up by a lion, tusked by an elephant, striped by a zebra. Ooh, these things are sharp too. See these things right here? They will prick the living poop out of you. It's like epidermic needles or something like that. That's how sharp they are. But we also have like a little campfire here and you could feel the heat coming from there. I will tell you this though, living in the wilderness, there's a lot of flies that you have to get used to and they bug the crap out of you. Um, since I've been here, I've been getting used to them, uh, but they still do itch. Cause you know, back at home, if a fly uh, gets on your face, you know, like that, but you get used to it. After a while, you're just like, um, I think the flies here in Africa, they land softer. So you don't feel them as much than the flies in America. But who knows, I'm not a flyologist, so. But anyways, this is where the camp's at. My familia's hanging out. And then to the left and to the right is tents. Actually, just to the right, there's 10 total tents. Then that building back there is where they have the staff. And that's about it. There is no fans or anything in the tent, which is, you know, I've never been camping before, but hey, it is what it is. And that's it.